Hey, Sneaky Lewis back, yes. Back, back, back. I've been very, very busy bunny this week, yes. I'm not doing next, I'm doing other stuff. So I'm back doing this today. Today we have, yes, Zubuntu 12.10 Beta 2. Right, this is very, very different. Things have changed, things have moved on. I'm looking forward to the full release of this one. Going to quickly go through some of it with you so you can have a butcher's. Okie dokie. Right, looks pretty similar. Everything's all changed though. Black up here, fonts have changed. Icons are the same, font has changed, very nice indeed, I like it already. The artwork has changed also, nice. We still get a little bar down the bottom, with all that stuff, that hasn't changed, no, that's still the same. Let's open up my home folder, see if we still have the same problems. Yes we do, it's still ticking, it's time, yeah, I don't like that one, we'll wait for that. Under our menu we have the web browser, a mail reader, as you would expect, it's XFCE 4.10, your settings manager, Accessories, right, let's have a little look. The usual stuff that you would expect, including the leaf pad, onboard stuff, or the gnome, or gnome. It's gnome really, isn't it? Yes, we know that. Your screenshot stuff, your terminal, and that stuff has just opened. That is still a problem hanging over, okay, from the last release. It's nothing to do with Ubuntu, it's actually XFCE's problem. There is a fix for it. I did put it down somewhere in my last videos I've done quite a while, but I won't do it again. Okay, so you get all your usual stuff in here. It's your desktop, there's nothing on my desktop. There's nothing in my videos. I've only just installed it, and it's very nice. I'm really looking liking it. It's very quick and snappy, okay, very, very quick and snappy. And that's opened again, see? Same problem as we had before. I'll go back. It's very quick and snappy, okay? I like it. Only two games. They've managed to get it onto a CD, not a DVD. So in doing that, they've had to leave quite a lot out. And I'll come to that in a second, okay? Under graphics, you get a document viewer, Gthumb Restrato, and Simple Scan. Under internet, of course, is going to be Defox. Pigeon for your internet messaging. Thunderbird, transmission and XChat, as you would expect. Nothing has changed here too much, to say the least. G Music Browser is still your music player of choice here. It does what it says on the tin. It plays music, and it does it very well. Yeah, you can change all the settings on it. This is only a quick intro video, really. I'm not going to go into it until the full release, which is going to be in around 20 days, I take it. Or something like that, anyway. Anyway, and I'm multi again. Get parole for playing your videos and stuff like that. Pulse Audio has completely removed, uh, completely removed the last one from that. Uh, 12.04, no, one before that, 11.10, should I say, I was wrong. XF Burn is lovely jubbly, I'm liking it, okay. Abbey Word is here, as you would expect, I'm not sure what version it is, but we'll go and have a look now, while I've, sorry, I've not even had a chance to have a bit of a drinkage there, see how nice and quick and snappy it is. Is it 2.92? Yes, it's still 2.92, so it does what it says on the tin, and I'm liking that very much. Now I'm going to have a bit of drinkage, hang on a second. Mmm. Ah, sort of orangey, mmm. Anyway. Where was I? Done that, didn't we? Done that as well. You get a dictionary, a document viewer for your PDFs. Orange is here for your calendar and stuff. And a system. Okay, Gigolo, iBus, Nipomuk, Nipomuk, yes. And a task manager, which I'm going to open up and show you. It's using around about 165, 170 of my RAM, so that's okay. CPU is doing nothing. Bear in mind, there's two of them. So yeah, it's all hunky-dory. Lovely. Right, what else have we got here? Let's have a look down here, 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 here. Okay, yeah, the Ubuntu Software Center. Hmm, let's have a little look. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, did you notice there was no additional drivers tab in the menu? That's right, because there's not one, you have to install it. And I'll quickly show you where to get it and what to do, all right? So if we go here and put drivers in, there we go. Additional drivers, as you can see, I've installed it, okay? You need this to get your proper resolution, whether you're using VirtualBox, as I am here to do the video, or if you want NVIDIA and ATI stuff, you really need to do that. But when you install it, especially if you're using the box, you'll say there's still no option. Aha, I hear you cry, aha. Well, what you do, you go to Edit, okay? And go to Software Sources. Wait for it to come up. Dun, 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 I'll have a bit of orange juice. Dun, dun, dun. Hang on a second. Mm. There we go. And as you can see in the software sources, there is the additional drivers tab. Now here, as you can see, I've enabled the GIST solutions via here, and then you'll get your full screen resolution. That's how you do it. Don't get to apply changes and restart, by the way. You do need to do that. Also, a couple of things I've seen here. We've got WMGUI for testing your Wii Motes. You've got a Wii Mote? I mean, most of you should have a Wii. Yeah, yeah. if you've got kids, you've got a Wii. You can use your Wii Mote to do stuff, as you know. Lovely jubbly. And there's lots of other stuff in the software center. Right. <clears throat> also, well, so we'll open, yeah, we'll open that. We'll open the Firefox up first. See what version of Firefox he's using. 
which should be the most current one, really, shouldn't it? Really? Yes. Go to about Firefox, and it's 5.0.1, which is lovely of the jubbly. I'm going to go here, Bebeke, make sure it all comes up all nicey, looks nice and quick, lovely, and the colours are nice, and the fonts are nice, and it's very, very nice. Ooh, a bit of a plane crash, bit of a bummer that, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. Anyway, it all comes up okay. I have not installed Flash or anything like that yet, so I can't actually play you a video. But I'll probably do that later after I've been playing it for a bit longer, because I'm going to play with it all day today, because I've not got work. Mm, mm, mm. Right, anyway, what was I going to say? If I go out to system and stuff like that, you'll see there is no Synaptic. Mm, you're saying, oh, but I really like Synaptic. Well, if you don't know how to install Synaptic, basically all you do, open up the terminal, okay. There we go. Then you type in sudo at hyphen get install syn no, no. Yeah, so I didn't even put my thing in there, sorry. Install space synaptic. There we go. Put my password in. That's that's it stuff. Do I want to do it? Of course I do. And it will download synaptic for you to make you feel more comfortable and a happier person. Yes, it doesn't take very long, as you can see. It's actually doing it for us now. Blah, 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 doing the triggers. I'll have another drop of orange juice while I'm waiting. Hang on a second. Oh, mm, 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 mm. And it's doing it, and it's done. Okay, so now when we do that and click open here, here and here, and go to the system, Synaptic Package Manager, <laughs> Manager is there for you to use. Put my password in again. We'll bring it up for you. So you can see it's all hunkily dory and stuff like that. Hang on a second. Yes, we know, but I'm not going to do it just yet because I'm not finished playing with it yet, am I? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll reload it. Down for the reload. It won't take too long. Yeah, 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 yeah. A few more files to go. But that's how you install Synaptic. Now, on the whole, I'm really liking, I'm going to really, really like this when it comes out. So I've, I've held off installing um, 1204 on a few machines. Although I've got it on one of my, my main one I'm using, but I think I might not put 12 and go straight for 1210 on some of them because I really like the look of it. It really looks nice and snappy and smooth and super e of the dupery. Yeah, you like that? Well, I like it. Why, why don't you like it? Because I like it. Yeah. Anyway, while I was doing that, we'll go to another menu. Do, 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 do. What was I going to show you? Not a real, not a lot really. Remember, it's still a beta 2. It will break, or it may break, it may not. But so far, so good. It's not gone on breakage on me. Although I've got some more updates up there, as you can see. Has it finished doing it over there? It's finished doing it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And there's one notification for me up there, which I'll just click on for you, and so you can show my updates. Let's see what it is. When it decides to do what it wants to do. I had this trouble with that before. No worries. Anyway, what's the details of my update? It's the external emulator. Do I do it now? No, I'll do it later. Right on the whole, Zubuntu 12.10 and Beta 2. It's looking really, really, really nice. Yes, really, really nice. I can't wait for the full release, and I'll be there. The next video you see from me on Zubuntu will be on the full release, so it'll be about 20 days. I've got some more videos coming up for the weekend if I finish all my rest of my work. Okay, I'm not going to rate it, because it's a beta. If I was going to rate it, it'd be 99%. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.